Haha! <laughs> Welcome back. So, got a taste test. That ain't really weird, did it? Here we go. Got a taste test. Uh, we're going to taste the conker wood. Now, if you haven't seen me brewing it up, check it out. Go and find it in the playlist. Uh, we brewed it up. It's a, it's a Muntons Premium Gold Range 2 can kit. So you don't need any extra sugar, it's got all the fermentable sugars in the malt already. Uh, and with this one, we dry hopped it with golden hops. I'll talk a bit more about it in the video light, but basically check it out. We put the hops in a bag, we dry hopped it in the bucket. So let's see how it turned out. Bit of an experiment. Could be bad, could be nice. So let's check it out. So let's get to the pour. So here we have it. This is the Conquer Wood. It's the Muntons Premium Gold Conquer Wood from their range. And uh, I must say, it looks a nice beer. It's a dark brown ale. And we actually dry hopped this. Uh, if you remember with the uh, pound of golden hops did it in the bag put the bag in the fermentation bucket and let it ferment uh, with the dry hops in it and I was trying to sort of put more of a hop profile into it because I love hops love the taste of them love the smell of them and I thought I'm gonna I'm gonna try it with this I'm gonna do it with this because it's a, it's a dark ale so I've got the I know I'm gonna have the the dark caramelly almost coffee uh, like notes to it and then I want to freshen it up with some hops so let's see if it's worked so conquer wood cheers guys well straight away you can smell the hops big time there's not much of a head uh, to it it's still a young beer <coughs> it's been bottled two weeks uh, so the head retention will, will get better uh, as, it, as it goes on. But it's, it's sticking to the glass, what head is there. It's starting to lace. But yeah, you get that sort of hint of coffee, but a big, big hot profile hitting you straight away. Quite, quite florally. So, let's have a taste. That's lovely, really nice. It's carbonated well. It's got that rich, uh, multi taste. Really dark, uh, almost like a toffee sort of coffee flavour. But then hops are coming through really well. It freshens it up. Got some nice lacing going on. really enjoyable. The darker beers I'm not so keen on normally that's why I added up extra hops to sort of freshen it up a bit and it's worked. So you've got that dark sort of indulgent taste from the malts but it gets freshened with the with the hops that we've we added. I'd definitely do it again and I'd recommend it I mean, there's many ways in, in sort of adding hops to a kit. You can either make a tea uh, by sort of steeping the dried hops um, in like a litre of boiling water uh, or a couple of pints of boiling water and then add it to your uh, fermenter. Uh, or you can dry hop it like this. Or you can do like a mini boil with it, uh, like a mini mash with your, with your wort. But this has worked out perfectly, and I'd definitely do it again. It's so dark, it's almost like a stout um, in character. But there's a bit more of a 
sort of bite to it uh, than a stout. Stout's quite smooth and uh, tasted. Uh, but with the added hops to this, it's it's really it's it's really a character in its own. Nice, nice drink. So there you have it. Just a short video, the tasting of the Conquer Wood. Uh, check it out. I'd recommend brewing it up. I'd recommend dry hopping it, um, especially if you like hops like I do. Dry hop it. Uh, if you check out the video when we made it. It shows, shows you how I dry hopped it. So check it out. Look at that. Nice lacing on there. <laughs> Perfect. Another lovely beer. 40 minutes to make. And uh, it's going to be enjoyed for, for well, weeks over the Christmas period. So yeah. Cheers guys. Have a home brew. Try this one. And uh, very soon we'll be having the Grandad Stout taste uh, video up soon. So yeah, stay tuned. Don't forget to leave your comments and questions below. Subscribe and cheers. Have a good one.